In the race for Chicago mayor, both candidates getting big endorsements today, one from a major labor union, the other from a former mayoral candidate. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemonyo joins us from City Hall. The endorsements didn't surprise the political expert that we spoke with. He says it makes sense that Brandon Johnson would be supported by a labor union and that Willie Wilson would back Paul Vallis because of the stance that Wilson took on crime. Crime is high. Somebody need to, to, to fight that. Former mayoral candidate Willie Wilson says he came to the conclusion to endorse Paul Vallis for mayor after social media feedback, town hall meetings, and conversations with faith-based leaders. People want to make this is a, um, a black and white issue. Uh, I'm not for that. Uh, I'm for bringing people together, and I think Paul is uh, for bringing people together also. It is an absolute privilege uh, to, to be endorsed by Willie. It's an absolute privilege to call Willie one of my closest friends. Brandon Johnson, Johnson, Mayor. Johnson, Brandon Johnson Mayor. Mayor. Mayoral candidate Brandon Johnson received the endorsement of labor union SEIU Local 1. We have an important election, and all eyes are on Chicagoans all across our country. We have an opportunity to elect a mayor that will build a Chicago that works for all of us. SEIU Local 1 and its members and working people across this city imbibe the very spirit of which the principles in which, which the working class stands on. We asked North Central College political science professor Stephen Maynard Caliendo to weigh in on what the endorsements mean for both candidates. Brandon Johnson's really going to count on these union endorsements, uh, and so this is an important one in the city. Uh, and certainly for Willie Wilson, uh, who is a, a candidate in the first round, all of those folks who ran in the first round who got votes, their endorsements are going to matter a lot. Maynard Caliendo also says those who supported Wilson wanted to see more police on the streets, and that's something that Vallis wants to see too. Both candidates are taking part in a debate right now, what's expected to be the first of many. At City Hall, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News.